hey, uh, check out my Tarot After Dark vibe. I'm liking this lighting a lot. It was a very busy day, so I didn't get to do a morning message. It'll be an evening message instead. All of my devices are dying, and uh, I'm waiting for laundry, so... I, and I can't wait to get to bed, honestly, so this will hopefully be a short read. In fact, I think I'd like to do something completely different. Um, there's a very unique spread in this deck called the Illuminated Love Oracle. I forgot to whisper that in its entirety. The Illuminated Love Oracle. Hey. Um... This deck is just wonderful. Listen to this. In devotion to the illuminated love that lives as and through us all, may we remember ourselves as that. So this isn't, you know, um, <laughs> the romance angels, which um, I freaking love. Um, I love this deck so much. But when we say the word love, it's not like that romantic love, um, lustful love that we think of. The illuminated love oracle is more about um, resonance and frequencies and colors. And um, honestly, the whole process of these women, these three women created this deck and it was all based on the property of transformation as an alchemical process if you will check these out there's just some beautiful cards okay so this is what we're getting into uh now Uh, I had a very busy November, so, um, and I, I knew that it would catch up with me eventually, and that I was sort of just asking the universe, like, please just let me have two days in a row of nothing to do. Please let me have two days in a row of nothing to do. Just give me a break. Like, I wish I had some extra days, and then um, I did eventually have to take them, but I got them. I got to have them because I took them. And so now I am sensing like a new cycle of activity beginning, um, not just astrologically or whatever, but just like in my own life. There's um, a lot of busy, busy energy sort of swirling around, you know, I like to think of it as like a, one of those coin arcade games where there's just like a bunch of coins in the machine that you can see and every time you drop a quarter through the hole, it's like going down this big slide and there's like the slide just sort of goes like this. So there's like a chance for redirecting maybe some energy. Um, to me, it does still feel that random though, like the, um, the purpose or intention of it, or I guess in that sense, it's like something we can't, we can't sense the direction. We can sort of glean. If we move now, we'll go in this direction. If we wait, um, till it turns to the other side, you know, if we wait for the wheel to turn, it'll be different. So yeah, um, I love this deck for these kinds of things because the five-pointed star spread reads the current energies of I think one's called the radiant darkness, the thing, like the point in which all things flow through. And so it'll give us like a read of what current energy is every, is what current energy touches everything right now. Then the second card is um, something about how does creativity want to be expressed at this time? How does creativity want to be expressed through you at this time? So helpful you know, maybe some helpful advice about how to approach what's coming. Then we have the Divine mas Feminine and the Divine Masculine, um, which in order is maybe something to nurture and something to take action on. Mm. 
What's that last one? Oh, yeah. The manifest, the wisdom and the grace of the word made flesh. Of course. I'll show this to you real quick. And then we'll get into it. Feel free to, like, just screen grab that if you want to. That's enough. And off we go. Oh man, forgot that that was even in this shot. I actually wanted to show you how I go around telling people my subliminal, subliminal messages. Now it's booster season. Okay. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome all of yourself home. Yeah, if you feel like you've landed somewhere, somewhere new, not not necessarily literally, but just a new, I didn't, don't want to say it this way, but like the new normal, then if you just find yourself in a new place, that doesn't seem recognizable, but is. Come on now. Individuation, individuation. How does creativity want to be expressed through individuation? Yeah, I see this as sort of like stepping into your power, shining your light, you know, all those things. Being so uniquely yourself, I mean, that's how, that's how community works anyway, where it's like, you know, um, how do I say this? Every person has a role to play. Best not compare yourself to others, but stand on your own with what you got. That is valuable. cards are too smooth to be falling out on me today. No worries. We have Divine Feminine beyond the threshold of fear. These cards are just so beautiful that I thought you might like to see them also. This is a really great deck to just like pause and and look at this card for a little while because you can sort of, especially if you're into colors and light and shapes. Divine Masculine, Embodied Brilliance. Hmm. got a pulsing lens. This lens is not the best for just standing still. So if the Divine Feminine is 
yeah, is, I think, ready to face something, face their fears. Um, threshold is the key word here, because what exists beyond the threshold of fear? It gives me the idea that, like, fear... Mm, fear, the acronym, is false evidence appearing real. So what happens when you break through the threshold of fear, the things that make you nervous, the things that scare you? Um, we have to process those feelings, but then also acknowledge that they're not, um, you know, aside from like survival instincts, like they're, they're not useful. There's so much more beyond this threshold of fear. And I feel like that's where Div Divine Masculine already is with this embodied brilliance. The DM's sort of like, come over here. <laughs> and illumination. Ooh la la. So I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read a little bit of each of these. I'll just quickly find them in the book. I didn't show you illumination, but this is illumination. This is the card that's on the back of the cards. What? Okay, I've got everything in order now. The radiant darkness. The point through which all things flow, or are flowing, right now. Welcome home. This oracle attunes you to an inherent state of being, so essential that in your searching you may have overlooked that it has been here all along. In attempts to hold on to past experiences or control future unfoldings, one may overlook the magic of home residing in the ever-present now. As you surrender the incessant search and soften to receive your own magnificence, the God self in one and all is revealed. Okay. You are eternally home in the essential embrace of your inherent nature. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the idea of... Um, Sometimes when you realize you like left pieces of yourself somewhere in the past and then you uh, just like stumble upon them one day and you're like, oh shit, what? <laughs> this is still here? We're going to ignore that for now, okay? That's why individuation is next. I love this. Welcome home individuation. You are a unique expression of the divine. Experience your unique embodiment and know yourself as divinely human by no longer looking outside or attempting to merge with another for a sense of self. Living as your unique expression while acknowledging the autonomy and sacredness of another releases the temptation to manipulate or control your own or another's experience or expression. This creates the foundation for true relationship. Individuation is interconnected with a sacred honoring of both self and other. This is why I was saying that this is, this is like the community card of um, wisdom of the oracle. Like at once it is a message of, of community or, or being... Ah, it's like, you know, defining yourself by what you're not. You are not somebody else, so don't try to be somebody else or try to act like somebody else. There is respect for yourself in choosing to do things your way. By seeing the world through your own eyes and not trying to change your perspective based on what the world tells you. Uh, then there's also this respect for other by not turning yourself into that other 
Listen to this. The oracle serves to illuminate the veils that you may have innocently worn in an attempt to protect yourself, including making yourself small, inflating your sense of self, isolating or hiding behind spiritual ideals. Whatever the situation, this is a call to embrace the aspects of self which have been hidden and need your loving attention. Begin to hear the call of your inner child that may have felt left behind or fragmented aspects within and turn towards them with loving kindness rather than looking outside for acceptance, reassurance, or stability. Know that these things can only be truly experienced from within. From here, notice if there has been a mechanism of overprotection to guard these aspects from being seen by self or other by being, bringing these hidden aspects by bringing these hidden places and defenses to the light of your loving awareness, you begin to see that all of these parts are essential aspects of your wholeness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think there's a call to, goodness, a call to some sort of integrity here. Um, integrity of self, you know, and by those means, if all have integrity, if all, one, if, if one is healed, all are healed. And if, you know, one, I can see the pattern here. Welcome home, individuation. So let's see what's next. The Divine Feminine Perspective, which, by the way, this is the energy that is available to you now to receive support. Okay. There you go. If you're feeling afraid of stepping into your... Whoa! I got, I got bonk lights tonight. That light was weird. Beyond the threshold of fear, as you shift from the experience of an overstimulated nervous system into the resting state of the present moment, your capacity for consciousness expands. With this widened perception of the world, you can see beyond the previous limitations of the survival brain. This oracle affirms your readiness to consciously step over the threshold of fear and limitation into a vast and expansive experience of self. There is great power in simply bringing the light of awareness to unconscious fear-based systems and patterns innocently established in an attempt to keep you safe. In doing so, you begin to feel support of your own loving, steady presence, which allows you to cultivate the resource and courage to recognize that there is another option that moves you beyond the threshold of fear. This light's freaking me out. <clears throat> It's fine. Look, there's like so many patterns of patterns. Exp uh... Yikes. Evidence is the word I was looking for. There is evidence of coming out of fear based reactive patterns someone seeing that you know like welcome home seeing the pattern individuation understanding the pattern and then ultimately realizing that there is another way yeah i definitely express um felt this today this energy that's here it's almost like you know you want to it's too easy when like things come up and you get busy and you try to do things um, you you try to do things as you've always done them expecting a different result um, but that doesn't really work so you either have to say no to some things or take your time developing a new workflow a new process um, for the things that are just coming at you I have so many ASAPs in my inbox again so the Divine Masculine perspective, let's see here. Mm 
I'm just going to ignore that light because <laughs> I don't know what to do. So the divine masculine is the activating energy. If the divine feminine was the nurturing um, supportive energy, the nurturing flavor of support, it's about calming the nervous system, feeling safe, coming out of survival mode, okay, welcoming yourself home to yourself. Let's see what, what the Divine Masculine has to say. Act some activating energy. My goodness gracious. Embodied brilliance. It has been designed by creation for you to shine. You are essential in the magical matrix of creation and your unique light is here to shine brightly, illuminating and amplifying a facet of the divine upon this earth and beyond. The energy of empowerment resides within this oracle and is supporting you to embrace your body as a sacred vessel. Oh! Through embodying and sharing your brilliance, you exist as a living invitation for others to do the same. No longer does it serve to withhold your light for the perceived comfort of others or an attempt to cloak yourself within a false veil of safety. There it is. There's safety again. It's like this theme. It is time to boldly live your destiny. The world needs the gift of you now. And then, so these cards have illuminated intentions or practices that you can use to either, you know, attune to some, you know, the energy of the cards or whatever. This one is, my body, luminous and pure, is a vessel for the great play of creation. It just goes back to what I was saying earlier about everyone having a role to play. Like, it, it didn't say it in the cards necessarily, but there's, there is this theme of we're all playing our parts and it's time for you to heal the, the negative patterns you exhibited while in survival mode and go boldly into the future. That's what I'm getting. But finally, we have, you know, the outcome. Illumination. If I don't fix my, my light by the next reading, I might have no illumination here at all. The manifest. Okay, here we go. This is an activation of the God self within. Yep, this is you becoming illuminated, stepping into your power, lenses pulsing. Oh my goodness. This oracle invites your illuminated heart. Yours is the heart of the one, the one who is both embodied and free to fly. Your heart is the divine bridge supporting the expanding luminosity through the vast radiance and consciousness in form. As consciousness evolves itself within and through you, the heart emanates the wisdom and sacred gifts of the human experience, gleaned through your embodied living. If you have drawn this oracle, it's time to remember and know that you are God evolving God. Here to have an experience of itself in new and unique ways. Time to play in the light of your exquisite luminosity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This deck is a lot, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I love it. I love it so much. Um, yes, this makes sense. I think it absolutely makes sense. This is, this same theme showed up in all of these cards. Um, moving, moving beyond safety. Oh my God. Not moving beyond safety, moving, moving beyond the threshold of fear into safety, feeling safe, expressing yourself truly. Um, not waiting for some sort of external validation. Here's our beautiful spread of the Illuminated Love Oracle. Oh, I love the colors. Hmm. You see how, like, Welcome Home is a mix of the middle two? It's actually sort of a mix of the middle three. 
and then in the end you have the rainbow. Embodied brilliance almost looks like an orchid. So yeah, if I was if I was taking this into into the month of December, I would say focus on yourself, boo. That's what it's all about. All right. Good night.